How's it going guys? Taylor Pride here, bringing you guys a new Minecraft tutorial. Uh, but before we start, just wanted to tell you guys to go ahead and hit that like button, jump on that subscribe button, twerk on the subscribe button, just subscribe, share it with all your friends. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is my payment door I just made and it takes four items to open. Uh, this is useful for zombie maps, things like that. And then I added a nice little reset switch over here. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to build it. So that for the simplest version, you'll need 12 pieces of cobblestone, 3 pieces of ice, 1 wooden fence, 1 wooden pressure plate, 11 redstone, 2 redstone torches, 3 repeaters, 1 sticky piston, and 1 water bucket. Alright, so let me grab those out of creative here. Mm -hmm. Now, Alright, so you're going to want to start by making your water channel here. The end one, you'll put a fence and a pressure plate and then three ice, just like this, with water. You want to go three redstone, one repeater, and then in the middle, put a repeater, and then turn your redstone to the left, add another repeater, and then put an RS nor latch here. If you guys watched my other video, you'll know how to make an RS nor latch. And I realized after making the video that I messed up right there. I put a piece of redstone instead of a redstone torch. Uh, you'll see me fix that later in the video. Make sure these are all on uh, four ticks delay. Let's see, I didn't even notice it right there. I, you don't have to add that pressure plate over there, but it's just kind of a nice reset. Right here, I was like, what is wrong? Took me a second to figure it out. Alright, there we go. So now the piston should stay on. And that's what you want. Go ahead and reset that. Now, this is only for two items, if you want something that you only need two items to buy. Now, in order to make it more items, you just need to copy the same uh, schematic, basically. Just like so. Make sure these are on three ticks or four ticks delay, sorry. If they're not, it won't work. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more on here. It's very repeatable, you can just do it over and over and over again. As many items as you want. If you want your door to be a hundred rotten flesh to get into, you can do that. All right, and right here I I started doing it, and then I realized that I didn't set those last repeaters to four ticks delay. So it's just those three that need to be delayed. I'm gonna go ahead and reset all these here, just to show you that it does work. One, two, three, and the fourth one. This would be a four payment system. And the way I have it set up, you can, it's only a two payment or higher system. 
So for instance, there's four sticky or there's three sticky pistons on this particular one I'm making, and that means that it's going to have one more than that. So you will need to enter a value of four in order to make it all work. So just keep that in mind. If you want your door payment system to be five, don't add five sticky pistons. Only add four because the fifth one is going to be the one that actually goes through all of the sticky pistons and turns it on. Just showing you guys another thing you can do. Um, for instance, I had a door over there, and right here you can make it so you have a dispenser instead. And I realized after I did this that I messed up. Uh, I didn't add the reset all the way over to the third one. But it does kind of reset. Comes out, and then the those two reset, and I was wondering why this one didn't. And then I realized I didn't add the reset over here. Kind of messed the video up a little bit, but it's fine. You you guys are smart. You guys will get it. There's two items, three items, and the fourth item pops out. Show you guys again. Two, three, and then the fourth item. Uh, this is useful for wall buys. And if you don't add the reset at the end and you just hook it up, it'll cost... If you don't have the reset for it where it resets the pistons, it'll cost the initial amount, like four... Like it is right now, it'll cost four, but then as soon as someone throws in another item, it'll only cost one from then on. And right here I just kind of I'm changing it up so it's for a door. In order to do that you just need to add an RS nor latch to the end here and then hook it up to your piston. So when you put in four items here the piston should retract and you can just pretend that there's some sort of door there. And then that opens up and it'll stay open. And that is how you do that. But yeah, once you guys get down just the very first how to put the piston there and then continue the circuit it's the same circuit just copied over and over again. It's pretty simple guys. I know there's a lot more compact uh, ways using like a comparator but I just did this because I actually made this before comparators were in the game. But that's all for this episode guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.